Hello, Kyle here. I've wanted to get a better understanding of some of the video autofocus settings on my Z6, but it's hard when you don't have perfect repeatable movements. Is it me or the camera? Then I put together this pen plotter kit and I had an idea. I could set up my camera in one spot, focus on the same object for each take, and record the same actions with different settings. This should give me a good idea of what each of these options mean and what effects they're having on my images. And don't let the long runtime of this video scare you. I'll tell you the results a few minutes in. You don't have to watch all of this. The last 13 minutes and 28 seconds are just the test footage, so you can check my work if you don't trust me. Once I've dialed in the settings, I'm going to repeat each test twice. Once in good light, once in bad light. So one will be daylight and the other average in inside a house lighting. Uh, this will let me see how much lighting levels will influence the autofocus reliability. For AF speed, I'm going to test the slowest, middle, and fastest settings. And for AF tracking, I will have it set to the highest and the lowest settings. My results were mixed with good light keeping in focus about 83% of the time and bad light keeping it in focus 74% of the time. However, one pass in low light was exceptionally bad, so kind of an outlier. So if you omit that one, low light was actually in focus 87% of the time. I didn't do enough repetitions to get meaningful data, so don't think of this as science, but uh, it should give you a rough idea of what to expect. In my editing software, I stacked each stack vertically on top of each other, and I could look for consistent patterns. So what I found was that when an object is stationary and then starts to move away from the camera, the Z6 will fairly reliably lose focus. This happened right when the pen dropped, and then it would happen again sort of when the circle started making that second quarter and it started moving away. These are areas where I'd say 8 of the 12 passes at a minimum the camera lost focus here. AF tracking takes a big hit as you increase autofocus speed. I had the best results by far when this was set to minus 5, with an average of 91% of the shot being in focus compared to 78% at autofocus speed 0, and a sad 67% in focus at focus speed plus 5. AF tracking had less of an impact, although results were more consistent when AF tracking was set to 1 than when it was set to 7. 87% of the video was in focus with AF tracking set to 1, compared to just 70% when AF tracking is set to 7. Now, here's the 13 and a half minutes of boredom. Enjoy! AF speed, minus 5. AF tracking sensitivity, 1, which is the highest setting. And go! I might have it a little bit outside of the camera's focus area at the bottom there. Looks like autofocus lost the <laughs> lost it there. AF speed minus five, AF tracking sensitivity one. The light is off this time. I did pan the camera down ever so slightly this time, so it should track better when it's doing the um, horizontal line along the bottom, right before it begins the circle. AF speed 0, AF tracking sensitivity 1, light is on.
The AF box looks less sticky this time around, like it's moving around um, like further from where I had originally clicked on the bottom of the pen. Sorry, that makes no sense. It seems like the AF's having a little more trouble this round. AF speed zero, AF tracking one. It's looking like it's having more trouble this round. Without the light on. ISO is 800, by the way. 1000. I spoke too soon. Oh yeah, I've got auto ISO left on. AF speed plus five, AF tracking sensitivity one or high. The box on the rear display is a lot jumpier this time around, but it seems to be keeping um, more or less on the proper subject. Oh, it's really jumping around now. AF speed plus five, AF tracking sensitivity one or high, light is off. less jumpy than it was at uh, ISO 100. AF speed negative five. AF tracking sensitivity is 7, which is the lowest setting. The box on the rear display um, looks a lot less jumpy than it did on the higher sensitivity. It's actually staying on the pen more than it was earlier. It's sticking a lot closer to the part of the pen I actually clicked on. Oh, now it's starting to lose it. Oh, the AF box has completely lost it. Oh, found it again. AF speed negative 5, AF tracking sensitivity 7 or low. Light is off.
it did a much better job tracking the pen this round without the light. AF speed 0, AF tracking sensitivity 7 or lowest. Oh, AF has completely lost the target, but it still looks like it's in focus. Now it's lost it. All right. Oh, AF found it again. AF speed, zero. AF tracking sensitivity, seven or lowest. Uh, definitely having trouble with it as it moves away from the camera. AF speed plus 5, AF tracking sensitivity 7 or low. The box is doing a really good job staying on target this time. Oh, just as I said that, it lost it. AF speed plus five, AF tracking spends, uh, AF tracking sensitivity seven or the lowest. Oh, box it totally lost what it was supposed to focus on. Yeah, yeah, that's completely the wrong thing. Okay, that was the worst one yet.